Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with Oxygen Not Included, the occupational upgrade. And I got a few new duplicates here I want to add to the colony. I got Pigman here, 202. And up here we got, uh, where'd he go? Somewhere up here. We got Death Shark. I gotta find him here. I think he was Joshua before. There he is, on the fire pole. So welcome you two to the colony. And in this episode I got a few priorities I want to get on top of and I noticed over here our polluted water store <laughs> is basically gone. So I need more polluted water. Now I could CO2 scrub this area uh, to get some more polluted water. Um, I gotta move our CO2 scrubber down if I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I could move that down, but I also have some polluted water up here I can crack into. Right here, 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 here. And I kind of want to go up here anyway. So I'm thinking of making a ladder. Let's see where I can do this. I could go straight up, uh, up the right here. Hopefully the neutronium doesn't get in the way. We're going to zoom in a bit so we can actually get to the edge here. So let's uh, let's get a ladder going here. We'll use um, igneous rocks. Fine. We'll do priority seven. Now we won't crack in just yet, but we'll go along here. It's okay if that hydrogen gets out. No neutronium in the way. Oh, we got neutronium in the way here. Actually, we only have to go to here, and then it'll kind of bubble over the edge, and it should spill in this way. Maybe put an, another tile in here. This one for priority nine. So we'll do that and then we'll crack in there. And then we'll keep going up. We'll get this one. And then we'll once that's drained, we'll go get this one. And then we'll get this one. And that one, and that one. And then we'll see what's up in the right hand corner. Maybe even get this one. I also wanna get, um, Let's zoom out here so I can see what I'm doing. That's just Alt S to get in screenshot mode, if you're wondering. I want to extend this ladder up here. Now there's polluted water in the way. We could go on this side instead. Actually, that room is in the way. Hmm. So I might extend this one. We'll have to deal with this polluted water. Maybe we'll drain it off to the left here or make a pump for it or something. Hmm. Or we could use this one. We already have one here. In fact, we could build an exosuit dock here instead of, I was gonna build it here. It's not hooked up yet. But we could build it here. And that way, whenever they go up to do a big dig, they can use their exosuits, even though there's lots of oxygen up here. They don't really need exosuits, except for maybe uh, slime being an issue. I could use a fire pole along here. That would help things out. Yeah, I think I'll build a fire pole. Let's get out of screenshot mode. Fire pole, what do we have? We got gold and we got iron. Don't have a whole lot of either. Let's use gold. We got so much darn gold, we might as well use it. 65 tons, let's see. Go straight through everything. Like so. Now there are big iron deposits on the map. I should probably be using iron, but like here's some iron here. I'm thinking of strip mining good sections of the map. Now in the past, well, let's speed things up. I've seen people strip mine using like little ladders, like spaced one apart, but then you have to go and deconstruct them all. So I'm thinking of starting like a big dig from the very top and doing like one layer at a time. Now there's lots of stuff in the way, so we'll have to build some ladders, but... And I, I told myself I'd never do a big dig again after I dug out the whole map once before. Look at them all go. <laughs> I might use ultra fast speed, which is 
uh, control U. It kind of, I think it's using debug kind of, maybe. I'll just show you here. Control U. Yeah, it goes ultra fast. It used to cause issues. Um, they would just get started of oxygen randomly and things wouldn't work properly. So I might use that for certain, if we want to speed things up. That way we can get more done in an episode. Yeah, that fire pole went in really fast. Oh, we got water coming in. Oh no. Uh, that's stopper. Need a stopper here. Priority nine. That's gonna drain in here. Mop priority nine. Oh, luckily, luckily it didn't get through. And oxygen in the base is getting a bit thin. Down in this, actually, it's actually it's not too bad. Since I put this airlock in, it's good enough. And we're turning all our what is this down here? Igneous rock into sand. Because we'll want sand eventually. We got we have 171 tons of it. Uh, we're gonna need it long term, so. We've ran out of power over here. I'm not sure what's going on. Lack of coal? What's going on here? Why is that off? It's enabled. Oh, oh, what's going on here? They're not delivering coal. Priority eight. Do we have coal? Yeah, we have tons of coal. Oh. Zero allocated. Hmm. Let's mop this up. Oh, there we go. There's some coal in there. We've got a lot of hydrogen building up top here. Uh, which I could be using. I mean, it's going to flow down. I got an airlock here, but it's open here. That's kind of funny. Yeah, where's all this hydrogen going? How? Seven kilograms in here. I don't know how, where all the hydrogen's going. I mean, some's being consumed by this. Oh, that's, that's overpressure. Okay, so that's... These vents are supposed to overpressurize at 2 kilograms, but this room's at 7 kilograms, so I have no idea how that happened. I need to make this coal priority 9, I think. Why are they not delivering it? I don't usually use priority 9 for this kind of stuff. Oh, we're out of water. Oh, jeez. Uh, maybe that's the issue. Oh yeah, we got... No, we don't need fresh water for power. Okay, let's make this priority 9 as well. Uh, so we get... Oh, we got neutronium in the way. Didn't even see that before. We'll have to go around. Hmm. But we have to block this off. How many germs do we have in there? None. Good. I don't like building ladders like this, but whatever. So we have to go around like that. That should be good. Priority nine. Yeah, we, we definitely need that polluted water. And I want to block this off so the water doesn't go this way. Where's he going? What is he doing up there? Just hanging out. I can say once they built that ladder, I'll seal that up. Our oxygen production is kind of offline now, which is really bad. Now we could bring our... I think I might bring the clean water over. Let's do that. Uh, plumbing. I have a line already set up here. Abyss of light. We'll go directly in. What party am I? Nine. <laughs> Everything is nine. 
now. Will this work? Actually, either way, it'll work. If it goes into the filter... Oh, I just put that into the output of the filter. We'll see how that works. I don't think it'll backflow. I think it'll go the right way. So that will get water from over in our... Now, is it flowing? Let's just see. Uh, it should be flowing. Hmm. Let's take this filter offline till we have that polluted water ready. And this should flow straight through to our oxygen makers. They're just pumping nothing now. Well, they're, they're, they're cleaning out this room of oxygen. Actually, that's kind of a nice buffer. But why is our water not flowing? What's going on here? What the heck? In, out. Should be flowing. We got a pump here. Not pipe blocked. But why is it blocked? Going this way to the showers. Huh? Oh, that's... Wait a minute. I'm so confused here. <laughs> My piping mess. Okay, this is going... <laughs> to that sink. Oh, there it goes. Why did it say pipe block? Oh, maybe they had to build one little section. Not sure. Or maybe it's because I didn't... Oh, it's because I had that back flowing. So it didn't know what to do. So here comes the water. That's good. And these guys are going to be done soon with our little project. Get that polluted water. So that's built now. We can... Oh, we, we can't... We can't seal this up yet until the ladder's fully built. Or we'll get stuck. The other thing I want to do, uh, down at the bottom here, things are getting pretty hot. My aqua tuners are heating up this oil, which is fine, it's up to 100 degrees. Because we're pumping out this oil, and we're kind of destroying it in the oil refinery. But just to keep things from getting too hot too soon, I think I might dump this biome in here, or at least remove this abyss light wall and let some of the cooling cool down the uh, oil biome here. So I think I will do deconstruct a section of this. Oh, well, that's weird. It didn't. What? Suffocating. Is he stuck in there? Oh no, he can get out. You scared me, Boom. I thought we were gonna lose you. Okay, this water's kind of annoying me, but whatever. We'll just leave it for now. Okay, back to the other project. Okay, so down here... Yeah, we're going to deconstruct a section here. And maybe I'll let this oil out as well. I mean, some polluted water is going to come with it as well. We do have a slickster in there in like minus, minus degrees. So maybe slicksters don't die in cooling anymore. I thought they died if it got too cold. But let's just dig that out. Let that cold oil spill over. That's going to go right instead of left. Actually, that's not good. Let's, uh... Hmm. I want it to flow over this way. And this has to be priority 8 at least. There we go. 
That should help cool down this area. Do it. Come on. Now if I take out this ladder and put in a little floor across here, the oil will flow and drop onto the slicksters here. How hot is it here? 81. I can't build traps here anymore. It's too hot. The traps melt at 71, I think. So what we'll do is put in a igneous rock floor here. And we'll let it let it flow over top here. That'll cool this oil down. A little bit. Not a whole lot. There's not a lot of oil here. We have a lot of spare food. Got a million food. So food's not an issue. Oxygen will become an issue if we haven't... Yeah. We don't have oxygen flowing in anymore. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. These coal generators. What is up with these coal generators? Something is not right here. What have I done? I've messed something up, I can tell. Oh, no, they're just not delivering coal. It's being used up really fast. Huh. We need more than that. Did I mess something up here? Automation's good. These are set correctly. Where's all our coal? It is accessible, right? Why did it go here? That's weird. <laughs> coal, where are you? What is going on here? With the okay. There's another way we could get around this. We could connect our power grids up. That's going to take a while to get that power over there, though. What is it with our coal? We've got 125 tons of it. Okay, i got to find the coal. There was, there's some here for, by this hatch. There was. Okay, it's all been moved. Uh, we had we had some conveyors moving coal around. Our hatches were eating. Oh, there's all the coal in here. Okay, here's the coal, thousand kilograms. I was shipping it outside this room. Into this conveyor receptacle, which everyone, everyone can get to. Oh, that's fertilizer. Sorry. The coal's coming this way. It's going into this room, which they can't get to. And some is going up here. Oh, I think I know what's going on. Maybe it's all trapped in this line, actually. <laughs> Yeah, we got an issue here. Because these are connected, if this is backed up, uh, this line stops flowing. That's not good. We need two separate lines almost. Hmm. For now, let's deconstruct this one. I think they're allowed in there. Yep, okay. Now the, now the coal should flow. It is not. What is going on? All the coal is trapped in this line. Oh, there's no power. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I have a solution. Maybe. It's this, this is an emergency temporary measure. But it will work. The old faithful. Now is there oxygen in here? There's enough. This will work. This will stress them out. 
Good to have this here anyway. So once that's built, it'll seed the system and the coal should start flowing again. Should. Okay, manual generators. Already eight. Yay, they're running. Nice and cold in there. Okay. So that should have power. But why is this not moving? I think the auto sweeper is just broken. It was working fine for so long. And then it just stopped working. Let's remove this one as well, just in case. But there's coal in this whole line. Wait a minute. What the heck? Do I... Oh yeah, I have a separate input box for coal. And it's full. It's back, it says it's backed up. I don't want this whole episode to be about this one thing. But this is not working. This is broken. I could do a save and reload. I think I'll do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so a save and a reload did not help. This thing's still not flowing. It has power, it has the right thing selected. Uh, it has access to it. It has access to coal. It's just not flowing. It has a direct line, it breaks right here. Or not breaks, but stops. Got a receptacle here. Just not working. Now it was working for so long and then just stopped working. Hmm. And I even have a buffer box here. So I guess we're gonna tear this thing down. I don't want to, but all our coal is trapped in here. Uh conveyor rails. Goodbye. What a shame. It was working well for so long. Maybe if we rebuild it, it will start working again. Now all that coal is going to drop way down there. That's okay. They'll get it. So coal accessible, 126 tons. We also have our hatch up here that we've been feeding. I'll get him eating some igneous rock again. I feel like the sorting on these changes randomly. So minerals, igneous rock. Let them fill that up. The hatch can eat it. Oh, the, uh, one other thing I did uh, off camera, pretty pretty minor change, but I think it'll make the dupes happier and more efficient. Is I put a fridge here, which is actually powered, and it's priority eight. And we're storing uh, bristle berries in here. Basically, it gets the food ready for the cooking station here. And I also put a fridge here, priority nine, and this is their actual stuffed berry and gristle berry. So this is the food they actually eat. I put it near the kitchen. And then down here, I limited access into the, whoa, up here, the food storage room. So only, um, a few people are allowed in here. And they'll deliver the food. This is the long-term food storage in our chlorine. And these are all priority seven. So basically they'll keep this this fridge up here. Uh, where is it again? All oh, right here, stocked up. And that way they're not, not everyone is getting their food from here where they were getting the, the, uh, the debuff for walking in water. Now only four of them will get that debuff. And the food will be ready and close to their 
missiles. So how's that polluted water thing going? Oh, is it done? We got the ladder all set up. So let's uh, use granite. It's a bit stronger, I think, right here. And then we'll dig out this out and get that polluted water done. Maybe this coal generator is messed up. 44 grams. Hmm. Yeah, something is messed up with these. Waiting coal. Hmm. There they go, but look how much they put in. 25 kilograms. I guess that's all that was available, maybe. Oxygen's getting thin in here. Okay, is that blocked off? Yep, yeah, let's crack this open. I'm pausing just to <laughs> speed things up a bit. If that makes any sense. So once that's drained, we'll... Okay, there it's draining, it's draining. Perfect. So filtering... No, that's not hooked up to anything, so that'll just sit there for now. But we'll reconnect it up once we've filled this area back up. Finally, we've got some coal in there. I guess they got access to it. It was all stuck in that conveyor line. Okay... I guess we'll just keep going up here. Uh, let's use the igneous rock, sure. Oh, neutronium's in the way. I don't like making ladders offset like this, but whatever. I guess we can just keep going up. That'll drain out. It doesn't need to be priority nine, eight is fine. All the way up here, get that, get that, see what's up here. And then go sideways, get this one. Get that one. There's so much of it up here. And I want to reveal what's up here. Use our waste. And then I'll probably clear out all the CO2. This was a kind of a failure, this little puffed experiment. We did have a morb in there. Oh yeah, he's still in there. But we need like 20 morbs in there for that to work. Now the other thing I wanted to do is probably set up exosuits, but I won't do that just yet. One thing I did uh, off camera, I think I did it off camera, was up here. Well, this isn't flowing anymore. No power. Oh, this is, we got the power issue here too, because there's no coal. Oh, but what I did was uh, set up an oxygen line from here. I was dumping it into this area here, but it got overpressurized, so this whole thing kind of backed up and stopped. So the hydrogen stopped going to our cooling system, which was not good. So what I did was I sent this oxygen. It was coming down here before, but I sent the line directly through onto, uh, onto the base here. So we've got two main lines of oxygen from over to the right, and then we've got that left one coming in as well, very slowly, because it's out of coal. And I gotta empty this container so the hatch will eat the coal. There he goes. There's five hatches in there, in that little cage. Oxygen in the base is not looking good. Not looking good at all. How much algae do we have? 23 tons. We might as well get an algae o the oxides are going. Just to supplement things. 
Where can I stick it? I could stick it right here. I also use gold. This will be for emergencies only. I do have a power line I can use here. Conductive wire. Is that the right line? Yeah. Now there's a YouTuber named uh, Ketmol, I think is his name. And he did a video about piping. A nice way to do piping. Uh, I encourage you to check it out. He basically uses... Uh, uh, he When he builds a line of liquid or, or um, gases, he puts in a bridge every every so often. And that way he can run many pipes side by side. And if he ever wants to do a, like a cross pipe, he has a, a pre-built way to do it. It's a pretty smart idea. It's planning ahead so you don't get a bit of a mess like I have here. Actually, this isn't too bad. But for areas like this where I'm like two side by side, if I had put bridges in, it would have helped. But he goes into other advantages of uh, doing it that way as well. So you should check it out. I might put a link to it in the description if I remember. If not, remind me in a comment, and I will. Whoa. Look at this coal. We deconstructed those uh, conveyors, and the coal is sitting in the air, but it's not really there. What? <laughs> That's a bug. It's a funny bug. Now this water that I'm feeding in, I gotta make sure I have a good source of it. I think it's coming from our, from this reservoir. I think it's actually fine though. This is from our bathroom water. I'll probably set up some automation, so if this ever drops too low, I will grab some out of here. I could do that right now, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we, we do have a liquid shutoff, I think. So, automation. Um, let's do a hydro sensor. Right here, I guess. And we'll do... Let's see here. I want to use abyssalite for this. So our hot water line is right here. We'll branch off this. Yeah, and we'll put a liquid shut off. Where is that thing? That's under plumbing. I actually don't know if I've ever used one. Liquid shut off. Oh yeah, I've used one. Stick that here. This is going to require power. And then we'll dump this water out here. Now this is not super wise because this will be extremely hot water. But it's just in case this gets uh, depleted. So we'll hook that up. And we'll set it to... Okay, let's see here. Well, oh, gotta finish. Wait till it's built first. Oh, how's that algae dioxide going? Is it functioning? Yep. Yeah. Well, the top looks good. <laughs> Not the bottom. I should put automation on this as well. So, uh, we want a Atmo sensor. I'll stick it over here just so it's not right beside it. And put some automation across here. And if the pressure drops below maybe 800, activate if below 800. So that'll be our emergency oxygen. That's probably not enough. We could probably put another one over to the side. Now we got materials all over the place. Get my garbage receptacle going here.
what I'm doing here, I explained it in previous videos, but all the materials in the game are pretty much that I've swept up are here on the ground. So I fill them up, sweep only. Someone recommended this and it's a pretty cool idea. I thought it would merge all the piles, but it doesn't. So you get like multiple piles of granite. Oh, wait a minute. Granite, 8.9 tons. I was seeing multiple tiles of this, or piles of the same thing. So that wasn't, wasn't quite working. I do want to build a tube system up top so they get fast access, access up here. Oh, and I did, an, I did want to do another thing here. I do want to start cooling down this area. Actually, this area. So I'm thinking of poking through and letting these ice biomes cool this hot pocket here. So I'll probably just dig through the ladder. I'll use granite because granite's going to be accessible. And we'll dig this out. Hydrogen's gonna escape. The shine bug will probably get in there and maybe die, but. Got some airflow tiles here. Actually, let's use. Yeah, airflow is good. Should probably put some in there too. Oh no, they fell. Yeah, so we'll equalize the temperature. Probably do the same thing up here. Might need a ladder up there. Something like that. And this is all going to melt and water is going to spill everywhere. Now where's it going to go? It's going to go in here. And that will probably break through eventually, break into there. Might break there, so we'll put some airflow tiles here. Uh, right along... Hmm. Here, I guess. Put a mini ladder there. See how that goes. Look at all this iron in here. We should get that delicious iron. Bunch of chlorine in there. Lots of coal. Actually, let's just dig right through here. Let's go hog wild with the digging. Let that chlorine out. It's probably going to end up in the bottom of the base, but I don't care. Strip mine that out. There's a lot of coal in there. That's good. Might as well grab this as well. And maybe I'll use airflow around, along here as well, just to trap all this water that's going to potentially break through. I could build an airlock. That would probably be smart. Instead of letting all that chlorine out. Even though I have airflow there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's just, yeah, let's use an airlock. We, we kind of don't want our oxygen filling up that area as well. Let's cancel that until they're done with that. Wow, 
Wow, they're so fast. So fast. So where do we want that tube access? Could stick it here. Have a launch tube up to the top. I'm thinking of building a work camp up here. If I ever do the big dig, doing a work camp up here. That way as they're digging, they'll have food and stuff and a bed and stuff up here. So how's that temperature equalizing? Kind of working. It'll eventually even out. Also dig this out. Just make our way down there, I guess. One, two, three, four. Do the same thing over here. All that water is going to go down here. Let's make an, a bigger place for that water to go. In fact, let's make a little ladder here. Some airflow. See, I'm pretty random with my projects. I did have a few things I wanted to do. This was not part of the schedule. So this will be our, if the water, if the th things start melting, we're going to stop her there as well. If things start melting, hopefully they'll make it down there. And let's dig this out. Basically smoothing things out here. Get rid of that. rid of that. that. Water's dribbling down. That's fine. It's all good. Now how did this polluted water project go? Are they still working on it? Do they ever finish? Oh, it's all drained. Okay, let's keep going up. With uh, Igneous. Priority, not priority nine. Have I been doing everything priority nine? Jeez. What's above there? Oh, let's just keep going up. Keep going up. Priority seven. Not quite all the way through. And we'll get this prepared here. oxygen in there for them. Oh, this filled up nicely. Look at that. So we probably have enough to start using it. So let, uh, let's hook this pipe back up. We'll kill this one. Right here and then connect this I could probably use a bridge right here to force the water flow to go the right way but I actually don't want to use this water I should I should put a valve or something but whatever We'll just do it temporarily. Temporarily like that. Use up that polluted water. There we go. Now in 10,000 cycles or something, 
we'll run out of sand, maybe. Not that I'm going to play that much, because the game's getting too slow, but... Okay, where's this water going to flow? Kind of running out of room for it, but that's okay. It's okay if it spills over here. We're all getting soggy feet. Soggy feet, soggy feet. <laughs> How's this going? Project dig all. I think it's safe to dig this out. Get all that goodness. Is there germs in there? There's germs in this slime, but that's okay. So we'll get that. We must put a um, some oxygen cleaning in here. It'll be underwater at first. <laughs> That's okay. We might as well put some more in there. There. Keep the air nice and clean. Here. We don't want this building up with like massive amounts of... Massive amounts of, uh, whatchamacallit? Polluted, uh, germs! Slime lung! That's what I'm looking for. Slime lung. But there's none in the air right now, it's good. But once we start digging slime, we'll get slime lung in the air. Oh, and look what I've done here. It's not very smart of me. Let's put an airflow tile here and stick a deodorizer on top there. See, we got a few germs in there. Once we have a few germs, we can get a lot of germs, which is bad. I hate how you can't see the side of the map without, without zooming in. Sleep time. Oh, look at that. Oxygen is back to normal. Actually, the line coming in... Yeah, it's pretty saturated. How's this hatch doing? Did they eat all this already? Well, they ate all the igneous rock already. They're so fast. Fill that back up. How much igneous rock do we have left? 1,200 tons. We're not running out anytime soon. Food. We have too much food. It's just kind of ridiculous. Oh, we're almost at cycle 500. Cycle 500. Now I turned off all the showers except for one. Just so they're not spending all their time in there. Because we were running out of polluted water. How's pressure in here? 3,000. We got regulation on here. So if the pressure drops below 3,000 grams. We'll turn on our fertilizer makers. Look at all that coal in there. It's all stuck and this thing stopped working. Man. That's no good. I could try to put an output box here. See if that works. Automation. I don't want automation. I want shipping. Conveyor receptacle. Right here. Just to get it out of this room. Because I don't want them going in that room. Now this should work. It should work. I think it's kind of broken though. Come on, build it. Hey, did it work? It flowed, it moved. Some coal moved, but this thing's not picking up anymore. There's coal all over the ground here. Come on. Get it. Oh well. Not sure what's up with that. I have to file a bug report. Unless I'm doing something wrong. It is hooked up, right? <laughs> Oh, 
It's not hooked up. Wait a minute. What the... What the heck? Maybe I deleted something by mistake a long time ago. Oh, that's funny. User error. Yeah, I totally broke it. That's my fault. I apologize. Actually, we don't want... Uh, uh, we don't want everyone going in. Everyone can come out. Uh, let's let Liam go in. Build that. 39. The coal mystery... Oops. May have been solved. I think... What did I deconstruct in there that caused that? Maybe this piping earlier? Many, many, many episodes ago. <laughs> so what happened to our coal when we did that? 162 tons accessible. Interesting. It should have always been accessible. Is Liam going to do this? I have no patience. Let, let's let some other people in. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Mystery solved. User error. Oh, uh, you guys probably saw it when I did the overlay earlier. Now we can now we can rebuild our whole conveyor system again. Oh man. Conveyor line. Let's use uh, iron, I guess. I actually don't want it to go in a receptacle. I want it to go out and around. Yeah, let's go this way. We got all that coal sitting in the air. So let's... I don't care so much about the puffs and stuff. Let's do this one. Oh good, we didn't deconstruct the whole thing. Aha! Mystery solved. And let's take care of... Take that box out. We don't need it. Very real. Yay. Oh, what's going on here? Got, like no oxygen going there. To our exosuits. We need more oxygen. I got seven minutes left in the episode. I uh, might make another line up here. I kind of want to mirror this system here. I'll quickly build that out. I might put it on the left here. It should be airflow. So we want... Let's do this as quick as possible. We need a metal wall there. So pump, pump. Granite's fine, doesn't matter. Into a filter. Someone asked that I build these things on camera, so here we go. Hopefully I can do you proud. In, in. Hydrogen out. We can send that, hmm. Where should we send that? If we stick it in here, we could just stick it in here directly. And maybe shut off that valve that we have below. So we got that, we got that. We need electrolyzers. Oh, what have I messed up here? We don't have room for that. We need our, we need our electrolyzers down here. Now I should just have one per two pump. Is that what I did down there? Yeah. I should really put it between the two, but whatever. Okay, priority eight, and we need power. I kind of don't want to do heavy watt wire all the way up there. We need 240, 240. 
We could use conductive wire. That's going to save us a little bit of metal, so we'll put a power transformer. Gold, where should we stick that? Up here, maybe? Hmm. Let's get rid of this deodorizer. And put in the power bridge, or not bridge, but a uh, power transformer. Heavy watt wire to the thingamajig. And conductive wire. Yeah, we got tons of iron. We can do it. Can I build through these tiles? I hope so. And how did I do the filter down here? Oh, I did it above and below. Oh, the I had more clearance. Hmm. Doesn't have to be exactly the same. We can stick the filter up here. That's all good. Should send this up like this. Hydrogen out. With a bridge. Dealing with a bit of lag here, sorry. Can we do a bridge over a bridge? We can. Messy. I like it. Oxygen out. Well, this will be everything else. Whoa. Go down here. Bridge across. Oh, it's getting messy. Uh, go down here. <laughs> Bridge across. I have to dig that out. Actually, I want it to be down, down one. So it's a nice third line. Oh no, it's in the way. We'll go, we'll go around for now. Oh boy. What a mess. What a complete mess. Let's stick that there for now. I'll clean this up off camera. I just wanted to get it built. So we've got a bridge. Oh, jeez. I just built that all out of... Uh, Granite, that's wrong. That's bad. Because it'll heat up all along there. We want a bit light. Get that cool oxygen in the base. Now it's okay, this top part's fine because this is all freezing in there. Whoa. Uh -oh. So a bit light this way. And I'll feed that into the base later, but for now, that'll do. Put a bridge in. That's some good lag we got there. Bissell light. Bissell light's fine for here. There. Ah. Let's 
try super speed. If it'll work. See if they can do it faster. Hopefully don't hopefully we don't get suffocation warning. Oh, and we need water. I forgot that one component. Hopefully we have enough water. That's a uh, that's a good question, if we have enough. I think we do. If not, we do have a, a geyser up top that's not being fully utilized. So hydrogen. Now this hydrogen's, whoa. Everything else, hydrogen. Oh, it has no power. There we go. And then this gas gas valve here I can set to zero. Because we don't need to send any more hydrogen up to that thing. Get it all from here. And really I should probably put a hydrogen generator up here as well. So that'll suck, suck all that out of there. What have I done here? Hydrogen in there, in there. Yeah, that should be good. It's waiting for this power. Super speed. Oh, and I have to select my output. I, oops, not helium. <laughs> there we go. Now it's gonna... <laughs> it's gonna have to suck through all that hydrogen first. Uh, we need a place for that hydrogen to go, other than that. Okay, power. Hydrogen generator. St slam one of these in here. Oh, I should have put it over one. Might as well put it right here, actually. Uh, actually. I want to be able to put two in there. And we need gas pipe. And let's go over like this. Oh, that's in the way. This is in the way. We'll just use it here. Conductive wire to feed back into that system. There. Oh, we got liquid carbon. Carbon dioxide. It's pretty cold in here. Minus 54. Nice and chilly. Now let me know if uh, you think I'm cheating with the super fast mode. It just lets me get through more stuff for you guys. They're not going to be able to get in there. <laughs> I don't think they need to, though. we got shift plates already. This area is super cold. That oxygen might even be too cold for the base. So some's going that way, some will go that way. Pipe locked. That'll be fixed momentarily, I think. Hopefully it can go in the bridge. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Now we might as well put a battery. Stick a battery on this system as well. Give it a little bit of a buffer. It will marginally heat up this area, but that's okay. Nice. How's our little dig going up here? Uh, that deodorizer's working away. Uh-oh, the germs in here are probably toxic. 56,000. Whoa. That's a lot. Let's put another one in there. Let's get that, get that.
That's a lot of germs. Dig this out so it can dribble down. Get out of there! It's disgusting. That'll clean itself over time. It's all good, that's all good. Germs here, not too bad. Might as well release this as well. And then maybe off camera I'll, put, I'll move our CO2 scrubber from here down here so we can eat up all the CO2. And we got a good... This polluted water will last us quite a while. Especially if we, if we start scrubbing. So I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but I got... This was, this was one of the main projects. Next episode, we'll keep going up. And we equalize the heat in here. Oh, I gotta, I gotta crack through here. I wanna cool down this whole chunk. Might do the same over here. We got our second oxygen line. I will duplicate what I did about with the oxygen. If we have enough water. Maybe do that off camera. And when we got metal tile in, let's check out the decor. Here's decor in the main base. Pretty smoking good. 357 here. 320. Nice. Very nice. Oh, and I forgot to see how this cooling was going. Yeah, nice. So it's kind of cooling, cooling here. Oh, I was going to release this cold oil. Let's do that before we finish. I want to I want to do that. That'll dribble this way. Unreachable. Oh no, it'll be reachable. That's going to let some water out as well, but I don't care. Hopefully it doesn't kill these slicksters. If we can get it down to 70 degrees, 74. Oh, it, it already is 60 degrees here. Oh, we can uh, we can put some creature traps in here. And move all these slicksters. Oh, maybe not there. No, not there. Crap, crap, crap. 71. 63. So we'll get get some slicksters in here and we'll dump them. We're already dumping them in here. There's a lot of slicksters in here. I kind of want to build a tank below them to see how much oil they're actually making. We don't have a huge amount of CO2 to give them. Oh, that's unreachable. Need to build a mesh tile here. Oh crap, here comes a lot of water. That's okay, we'll put a pitch a pump down here, we'll get all that blue water out of there. This is kind of funny. It's hanging 10. That slickster. Body temperature 0.1. Oh. He's freezing, look at him shivering. Oh. He's okay. So we're Getting all that cooling down here, it'll equalize with this uh, oil over here that's 103. <laughs> but this episode's over, over time a bit. So I think I'm going to wrap this episode up. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know if you want me to edit these down a bit more or whether you like the kind of long format. Most of you, if you, you most of you have already let me know, so... It's kind of a mix between people who like edited versions versus like seeing everything on, on camera. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.